This video is sponsored by Warriors Clothing, 100% authentic and highest quality apparel. Get now on discount. Links in description. From the Toyota Center in Houston, AT&T Sportsnet presents Houston Rockets basketball. Last night, the 14 and 35 Rockets continue this homestand as they conclude their season series with the 37 and 13 Golden State Warriors. Good job by Tate. Not giving Curry any decent look at that shot. Wiggins will fire it up and he knocks down their second three of the game. Yeah, big shot there from Wiggins. Over the top to KJ. Oh. One on two, missed the layup, got it back. Oh. Power dribble blocked by Toscano Anderson, but it went out of bounds. Just hesitated a little too much there. Uh, KJ had it just went right up. He'd had a slam dunk. And Curry is on the board on the drive after missing his first three shots. Great job there from Shingoon. Look at him here crowding Curry again. It's got he's got to beat you with the two. A collision, and they're gonna call a foul on Matthews. Thompson knew that was going in as soon as it left his fingertips. And the rebound to Thompson. It's deflected by Kuminga, scooped up by Curry. Great pass. Curry for three. Deep one goes down his first. He probably said, hey, young fella, slip the screen because I'm going to take this shot. <laughs> Warriors with the run out and the foul plus the hoop with the Scotto Anderson. Curry thought about it. And then attack Shingun again. Not much time and difference from game of shot clock. Curry the paint turned back by Porter. Now to Wiggins, his three is all the way, and his three is down. Wiggins now with his third three. He's got 17 points. Looney rumbles and stuffs. Jalen's got to stay in that play. He's got to be early, but you, you can't you know, end up giving up wide open layups. Wiggins knocks down the long two. Andrew Wiggins, I mean, that's the ideal third, fourth option on the team, whatever you want to call him. Curry, tough one over Wood. And it goes down. His second triple, that's 16 for Curry. Rockets will just not go away. And Steph, we talked about being grabbed off the ball, and this time we have Porter Jr. called for it. That was the defender on the game winner. <laughs> look at Kevin Porter Jr. Look at his Steph. <laughs> he does not like that call. He's, look, he's still staring at him. Steph is not even going to acknowledge him. I think that's the right approach. <laughs> Steph doesn't do a lot of trash talking per se. <laughs> he, he'll let you know, like, with his play. <laughs> what is Kevin Porter Jr. doing? <laughs> What is he doing? He's kind of mean mugging Steph for a little bit there. Three setting up JTA. Got around one to lay it up and in. Kevin Porter Jr. took it to trouble. JTA was there to help. Curry open three. He took his time there. Lined that one up. He didn't take it to trouble. Trouble came to him. Curry draws two. And Toscano Anderson is left wide open. Here's the reality. Eric, Eric Gordon's going. I can't help up guarding Clay. Curry on Shingun, he's wanted this all night. He gets it again, and he takes advantage of it again. Tate on Curry, puts all the brakes, steps back, makes Steph Curry with 25 and counting. Oh, oh. wow, vintage Curry. I was gonna say you wanna take away the three when you guard Curry so that two doesn't beat you, and before I could get the words out, Curry gets a three. Curry. Stepping back, foul line Jimmy goes down. Curry's in his bag right now. Craig, he's, he's feeling it. That was good defense the last few possessions. Oh, no. He, he, okay, keep playing basketball. He's feeling it. Oh, my goodness, he, he just woke up. Curry with the left hand. Steph is doing it all right now. Curry relocate three. Got it! He's got 38. And half of them are here in the fourth. Steph Curry getting a hug from John Lucas. That's a nice way to begin the very short road trip. Get the win in Houston. The five out of six on the road in the L column. That is being changed right before our eyes as the Warriors take care of the Rockets 122 to 108. Look, you've had some great nights at the Toyota Center, but I want to go back to a couple weeks ago when you guys lost to the Pacers. You had a rough first half. The next night against the Houston Rockets, you hit the game winner, and you guys are now hit six in a row. What has changed for you guys since that point? Uh, just play, trying to play with joy. Um, we understand it's obviously a long season. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs, and and that was a major major down for us in that uh, that segment of the, of the schedule. And we came out you know with a purpose that game, and we just tried to you know take care of the, the little things. You know, playing amazing defense, taking care of the ball, trying to create open shots, and you know good things happen.
you know, you can win win games a lot of different ways when you have a talented team like we do, and you know, a lot of guys can, can step up any any given night, and it, it's just fun to play that way. What's up, Steph? It's D Wright, man. Congrats on D. the win. Wright. What's up, Thank baby? You. Hey, you've been doing a great job. It's been more of a facilitator now that Draymond Green has been out. The floor game, we always mention how how it's been over these last few games. How is it, you know, getting back to that point guard and dishing out and getting guys involved? It, it's fun. I mean, it, it is different, obviously, when you have the luxury of having Draymond at the top, being able to initiate a lot of offense, run transition, find the open guy. Me and all of our shooters can run the lane, but without him, uh, you know, it, it does look different, and I have the ball in my hands a lot more. Nights where you just make the simple decision um, and still you know, draw attention, draw a double team, get it to the open guy, we, we we thrive off of that. So that's what I'm focused on, just trying to keep things simple. Sometimes you want to hit the home run play every time, and that's where turnovers happen. And if you can avoid that, then um, you know I, I can I can do my part in creating good shots for everybody else and myself, and, and that's a fun way to play too. Steph Mully, congratulations. You had a great floor game, nine assists, five rebounds. But you end up with 40 points. And 21 of those points in the fourth quarter. After being challenged, we, we, we were commenting. We, we gave Kevin Porter Jr. He was trying to guard you, trying to get competitive. But you responded with 21 in the fourth quarter. Does that have anything to do with your uh, aggressiveness? And um, what, do, what do you think about Kevin Porter Jr.? <laughs> He's... I like his, like you said, his competitors. He got a dog in him, and he wanted to take on that challenge. There was a play, uh, I think it was a couple, of, like, off-ball fouls, and um, I won't say there was a little chirping, but it was it was good gamesmanship, and then uh, we got a steal. I think I got a good defensive stop. We got a steal, and I came out in transition. That kind of lit the fire for the rest of the game, um, and it's a testament to defense uh, creating, you know, momentum on the offensive end, and, and that's what we thrive off of. So when I do my part on that front, uh, it, it, it's it's warrior basketball, so it's fun. I'm you know obviously blessed to have teammates like I do. Uh, you know God is good, and I'm gonna keep trying to ride this wave. Well, Steph, the other night you surpassed Chris Mullen for the most games played in Warriors franchise history, and it must <laughs> that be just another. Means I'm getting old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, well, well, hold on, Steph. It's another day that ends with the letter Y because you just surpassed Kobe Bryant for the most 20 point quarters in NBA history. How's that feel? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's elite well company. Said. Elite There's company. Elite yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. Well that's said. Mic drop, man. Steph, go get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow night in San Antonio. Thank you very much. No problem. Steph Curry there with a 40-point explosion, 21 in the fourth quarter. And he's always breaking records there. But Kevin Porter <laughs> Jr., as you saw, we were talking about it in the break room. KPJ is nice. He's competitive. He's a dog. And we like it. But it woke Steph Curry up for a 21-point fourth quarter. No question. Steph was playing well. He was in rhythm all night long. But it was not a coincidence after being challenged physically. Uh, And Kevin Porter, look, he's a competitor. He's a long athletic defender. But once Steph got locked in, it was lights out. Yeah, and we know when Steph has that ball in his hand, he's over there breaking guys down. He's going to be hard to guard. But I I love the fact that Kevin Porter Jr. is challenging Steph Curry to bring out that the best out of Steph, so it was definitely a great matchup, but obviously Steph Curry's been doing this for a long time. And once again, the balance, uh, 7-14 from three, 13 to 23 overall. And Steph mentioned, I think what he really appreciated, maybe the best play of the night, was when he defended Kevin Porter Jr. off the dribble, forced the steal, and got his three in transition. That opened up the floodgates. And what do you see right here, D-Right Steph with the rock? Oh, this is barbecue chicken. Just goes to the rack. We see a couple times in this highlight, he's settling for the mid-range jumper and going all the way to the rim. Yeah.